I will show you one amazing library which you can use to easily integrate the different types of charts in your Android application with a Jetpack Compose. This library offers uh, 7 types of charts and uh, each one of them is uh, highly customizable. So let me show you. This library is called the Y Charts and the link of this repository will be available down in the video description. So now let me open up a demo project and show you how to uh, use uh, some of those uh, charts. So the first uh, thing that you need to do, you need to add here a dependency for this um, repository and also you need to make sure that you are using a minimum SDK of uh, 26. So here I have prepared uh, three different screens and uh, each one of those uh, screens contain uh, one different uh, chart uh, UI component. So let's first start with this line chart. I'm going to open up that uh, in my uh, Android emulator and then I'm going to show you uh, how to customize this uh, same chart as well. All right, there we go. So this is a, a simple line chart uh, composable UI component. As you can see uh, here, we can see the X uh, axis and the Y axis. And also on this uh, chart, we have a couple of different uh, points that uh, I have uh, created for the demonstration purposes. So in this case, we have a uh, one, two, three, four and uh, five different uh, points actually. And the great thing about this component is that we can actually zoom in this component as well. So as you can see, now if I try to zoom in here, as you can see, uh, this component will be fully responsive and uh, we will be able to see deeper in this um, UI component as well. All right. As you can see here, I have also integrated some Material 3 uh, colors into this uh, component as well. So as you can see, we can even uh, click on one of those uh, components here and uh, this line will appear along with those uh, actual values for the X and the Y axis. So everything here seems to work just fine. So to create one of those aligned charts, uh, first you need to declare uh, your actual points on the Y and the X axis. So here I'm using one list in which I'm specifying multiple different points and each one of those points will contain an X and a Y uh, value on this uh, chart. Now below that I also have uh, two variables, uh, one for X axis and the one for Y axis. In this first one, x-axis, I'm using a couple of different functions to customize this uh, same axis. Now, there are more different um, functionalities uh, and customizations that you can use with this uh, x-axis um, component, but nevertheless, those are some of the basics that I wanted to share with you. So here we have an uh, axis uh, step size, and what this function will do, it will basically specify the spacing between uh, those uh, points on your chart. So as you can see here, between 0 and 1, between 1 and 2, and so on, we have a space of 100 dp and of course we can modify that uh, as you wish. Now the next thing here I'm specifying the background color of this uh, x-axis which is in this case a transparent color. Uh, then I'm calling here the steps uh, function which basically presents how many steps we want to have in our chart. Uh, then we have a label data. In this case I'm using only the numbers um, or the index value of those uh, points as the label of uh, those points in our x-axis. As you can see here, I'm just using that uh, same number or the index value of uh, each one of those uh, points. Then we have here label and the axis line padding, which is basically the padding between this line and those uh, labels on the bottom. We have a uh, axis line color and axis label color. In this case, for those colors, I'm using uh, a tertiary uh, color as well. As you can see, we can also try to change the theme, in this case, of our uh, smartphone device and uh, our um, line chart will look uh, quite nice in that uh, other different uh, theme as well because here we are using a material three uh, colors also down below for the y axis we are also using some of those uh, same uh, values only in this case we also have a label data in this case uh, for the y axis i have specified that uh, i want to have the maximum number uh, on the top to be 100 and then i'm dividing that with the number five in this case which is the steps uh, value right and when we divide that with a 5, then we're going to get here 5 different uh, points on our uh, y-axis. And then of course I'm using those uh, same colors as before. Uh, down below I'm creating here line chart data um, variable, which actually holds uh, one line at this point. So as you can see here we have a line plot data and within that we are specifying uh, the list of uh, multiple lines. In this case, right now I have only one line, but the great thing about this uh, chart is that uh, you can customize it as much as you want. And in this case, you can add uh, multiple different lines and those lines will uh, basically overlap with uh, one another. Also, this line accepts uh, multiple different properties like the line style, uh, intersection point, uh, selection highlight point, uh, shadow underline, and selection highlight pop-up. And each one of those properties uh, have a uh, 
multiple different properties underneath that you can customize as well. So all those components are uh, highly customizable and you can make uh, basically anything you want with them. And finally, we have the background color of this um, uh, chart, which is in this case the surface. So the same surface as our background here. And we are passing uh, the X and Y axis along with these grid lines as well. Now you can also disable those grid lines and you can just uh, specify here null. And in that case, uh, those grid lines will not be visible anymore. All right, and finally down below we are calling the actual composable function, which is called line chart. And to that function we are passing this uh, line chart data that we have already specified right here. Anyhow, now let's continue and now let me show you uh, the bar chart. So now let's uh, choose a different kind of a chart, which is called a bar chart screen. I'm going to also now uh, change back that uh, actual theme to a light theme. So we can now easily switch that and see how will that look like in a light theme as well. Now for our bar, uh, bar chart screen here, uh, I'm using one function which is called uh, get bar chart data. And this uh, function will basically return us a random uh, a bar chart uh, points here on our graph. As you can see, if I run this once again, then we're going to receive here a different kind of a data uh, in our uh, a bar chart here because we're using here one util function which is generating those uh, values uh, by itself. But if you want to generate those values by yourself, then you can just uh, create uh, each point uh, on your own. Anyhow, here I have specified the list size to be 8. So here we have uh, 8 different uh, bars on our uh, bar chart. And down below we can also see some other different um, uh, customizable options. So here we also have an X uh, axis and a Y axis. Down below we also have uh, some uh, bar chart data to which we are passing all those values that we have uh, configured above. And finally we are calling that composable function to which we are passing uh, all that data. All right, so that's how this uh, bar chart screen looks like. Now let me show you the last one which I have prepared for these demonstration purposes, which is of course a pie chart. There is also a, a donut um, a chart which is a similar to this one, only this one actually uh, has a full circle without any inner uh, spacing. But you can also check out the official um, documentation on this repository and see how each one of those um, uh, charts will actually look like. So as you can see, you can also modify the actual type line. You can also specify here uh, the smoothness of this line as well. For example, let me just go back to our line chart. So, okay, so here as you can see in the line style, I'm using a, a smooth curve, but you can also use a different, which is a straight uh, curve or a straight line in this case. You can specify true for this uh, dotted uh, property and there are many different uh, properties as well that you can actually customize. Anyhow, the last one is of course the pie chart. So uh, as you can see in this pie chart data, I have specified um, a couple of different pie charts uh, slices that I'm using here. And each one of them will contain a different value that will reflect on this uh, pie chart as well. Each one of them will have, of course, a different uh, text or a label, different uh, color and so on. Here for the plot type, I have specified a pie, but we can use also a, a donut, for example. That's how now it will look like. We can also use some other different options, like maybe the, the bar. So let's see how will that now look like. Also, you can see this animation as well, because um, I have specified uh, the animation duration here to be uh, 600 milliseconds. And I have also enabled that uh, same animation as well. And there you go. So uh, those were just uh, three different uh, charts that are available from this library. You can also check out different kind of uh, uh, charts that this library has to offer. So each one of those composable function is uh, highly customizable and you can basically create uh, anything you want with them. So it's up to you. Anyhow, I uh, highly recommend this uh, library. So uh, be sure to check it out. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. And for this video, that will be all.